Tai Chia Sin and Li Shen Mu of Taipei. Playing in their first tournament together. Their first Super Series tournament, obviously. And here they are in the semi-final. What an astonishing story. Seeded pairs on their way through to today's semi final. A Taipei pair. And there you can see exactly what's happened from quarter finals onwards. It's an all Chinese semi final in the bottom half of the draw, but you can see that Li and Sai beat the number five seeds Endo and Haya. Kaiwa yesterday. Ku and Tan were given a walkover by the Koreans Go Sung Hyun and Lee Yong Dae. Go Sung Hyun injured himself in the previous match. Managed to finish, but not fit enough for the quarter final. So Ku Kian Kiat and Tan Boon Hyun, who have never won this Hong Kong Open event before. They were semi finalists four years ago, so they've repeated that feat. Gone up to number two, uh, two places in the world ranking, which was published on Thursday. They have, of course, been as high as one, and they are currently number one on the Super Series list, the 10th event of the year. Well, I apologise again because it is Tan Boon Hyong who's the left-hander and Ku Kian Kiat who's the right-hander. Just got that round the wrong way. So actually only two matches contested by the Malaysians. So here well, once again, just the wrong way around with the names there. It's Li Sheng Mu on the right as we look at them. And Sai Chia Sin, the 30 year old. Where has he been over the last year or so? Teaming up with 26 year old Li Sheng Mu, who of course has been as high as three in the world, ranking with Fan Chi Min, with whom he competed at the London Olympic Games, they lost in the quarter-final stage. Well, we're looking at our umpire, Chris Yip from Hong Kong, and Paul Buffon from England is the service judge. But Sai Chia Sin himself is an Olympian, because, of course, he competed in the Athens Olympic Games in 2004 playing mixed doubles with Chen Wen Sing. But it seemed to have disappeared from the world tour. Here he is, he's teamed up with Li Sheng Mo. They were due to play in the Chinese Taipei, their home event, Grand Prix Gold event, earlier this year, a couple of months ago, but withdrew from that. So this is their first tournament together. So the number one seeds from Malaysia. Suspicious start. Well, obviously it's the first meeting between these two pairs because it's the first tournament that the players from Taipei have played together. Extremely well. Uh, these two men beat the number four seeds Bodin Isara and Manipong Jongjit in the first round. 
two straight games. Then they beat the highly experienced Alvin Yulianto Chandra, playing now with former Olympic champion Marcus Kida. That was two straight games. In the quarterfinal yesterday, they disposed of the number five seeds, Hiroyuki Endo and Kenichi Hawakawa. Needed three games to win that quarterfinal. They came through very strongly in the end. There's their coaching staff. Just lost his footing. Oh. Nice and done. The big hitting left hander, Tam Boon Hyong. Did he disappear from the tour? Last year, he was playing men's doubles with Sen Ching Chung. A couple of semi-finals at international challenger events. Vietnam and Osaka. He wasn't playing the main tour at all. Oh, it's gone over. Yeah, a little wry smile. medal at the uh, 2010 World Championships in mixed doubles in the Shenmue. I'm just showing why he is a World Championship medalist. onto the world stage. More established pairs don't really know their strengths and weaknesses. Much more established pairs feel a little bit nervous because on paper they should be winning these contests, but the pair from Taipei have already proven so far here in Hong Kong. But they appear not to have any fears uninhibited badminton throughout oh, and the luck in the net ball for which he apologizes Four down. serve again. Oh my goodness he took it. 
Well, there'd been a call from Ku Kian Kiat to his partner to leave it. I was surprised he played it. And so was Ku. had a swipe at that and both missed it. <laughs> well, at least they're able to smile about it. Kian Kiat plays like that and dominates the net. Oh, you can fully understand why this pair has been former world number one ranked pair. Oh my goodness. And then he does something like that. Oh, that just about sums him up, really, though, so doesn't it? And even after he decides to play it, he just stands and watches it. It is the number one seeds who have just a one point advantage at the mid game interval. There they are. Well, gone up from four in the world rankings to number two this week, and bearing in mind that they're also number one on the Super Series list, it is quite extraordinary to consider that. What, one month ago, perhaps a little bit longer. There was an awful lot of talk as to whether Ku Kian Kiat and Tan Boon Hyong should be split as a men men's doubles partnership. Oh, they should play. They themselves resisted and said they wanted to continue to play together. Well, being world number twos and Super Series ranking of ones, not too shabby, is it? But of course, their medals from World Championships. Twice medalists, silver in Paris in 2010. Bronze a year prior to that. Fourth in the London Olympic Games, the Malaysians. So no medal there. Oh, he's gone to get a new racket. There we go, come on. Oh! What a smash! Well, he would never have got that even if he hadn't dashed off court. Oh, we're only seeing the final smash. That was nigh on perfection. From Li Sheng Mu. Oh, in the middle of the rally. He dashed off and grabbed a new racket. Make sure there's another spare one ready to be grabbed should the strings on his new racket break. Oh, that's brilliant fence. Absolutely wonderful. player Li Sheng Mu was. Well, seeing him play with 
Tai Chi Ao Sin. Respect to Fang Chiamin, who since the Olympic Games has retired from the sport. And this is a very, very exciting combination from Taipei. Again, the luck of the net forward with the pair from Taipei. And Ku beginning to get a little frustrated by that. Look at his reaction. Yeah, that gets rid of some of the frustration and anger. at this sharp end of the opening game. Oh. Well, that's the flamboyance of the man. Finds a winner from nowhere. That is outrageous. Sensational when it works. Oh, that's a good return. Strings have gone. Yes, he's run off the court again. Grabbed another racket. Oh, and they've won the rally. Absolutely unbelievable. Well, we'll see the winning point. It'd be nice to see the moment when he dashed off court but sadly not just wants to try the new racket that's twice he's done that and it's a point like that that can sometimes change the momentum of a match very very clever play when he knew it broken in the strings he ran forward to the net just played a simple block, not trying to make it tight. Knew that the broken strings wouldn't get much control. 
Dashed off, got the new racket and carried on. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's trying to be a little too clever, but oh, the back shot. There's a very fine line between being adventurous and being a little, little naive. Yeah, all trying it now. Well, his lack of experience at these big match situations well, that might just be the deciding factor. Certainly, he's handled himself very well and dealt with the pressure. Ah! Mm. Well, well, well. Game point opportunity to appear from Taipei. That was brave to leave that. It was wide by a whisker. 20 all extra points needed. Until there's a clear two points deficit between the two pairs. Oh, pushed it wide. It was Li Sheng Wu, who made the unforced error. So having just saved a game point, now the Malaysians have a game point themselves. Survive a scare. Survive a game points and indeed duly take the opening game 22 20. Oh, what a thrilling opening game. 18 minutes. Sensational badminton.
Oh, what a tremendous opening game with the number one seeds, Ku Kian Kiat and Tan Boon Hyong of Malaysia. Eventually taking it after surviving that game point, 22-20. But for the pair from Taipei, Sai Chia Sin and Chia Mu. Oh, there's Sai. This is first international event of 2012. It's also the last of the 12 Super Series events. Where has he been? Well, given a second opportunity, and given the opportunity to play with Li Shen Mu, he responded quite brilliantly. What a delight to see him back playing international badminton again. Too many of the big booming slashes from Tan Boon Hyong. Opening game. Getting more opportunity now in the second. Tan Kim He on the left as we look at them. Rosman Razak on the other. Oh, goodness me. Fault receiver. Oh, Li Sheng Mu. Mm, need to see that again. Oof. Well. Nothing we can do, I suppose, when the umpire makes a call. We have to accept his decision. from the crowd. Oh, it's cool out. Wow. Li Sheng Moon saying that he thought that it may have touched Ku Kian Kiat. I'm not convinced the shuffle was out the back and I'm not convinced that Michel Mou wasn't entirely correct. Did so. Oh, storming through this second game. I'll go. Oh, even pairs who've played together and appear to have a good understanding. This is six years they've played together now, both leaving it for the other. Somebody's got to make a decision and say, yep, mine, I'm going to take it. Oh, 
right idea. broken the strings of his racket but he still managed to look at that there the... just managed to reach it full pirouette and then makes the kill with broken strings so an eight point advantage Game interval of game number two. <laughs> Chen Chi Chai in the middle there. Former Commonwealth Games gold medalist in mixed doubles. reminiscing to what they were doing in the opening gate. Yeah, it's been a funny old men's doubles this week in Hong Kong, hasn't it? Four seeded pairs being beaten in the very first round. Isara and Jonjit, number four seeds. Hashimoto and Hirata, the number seven seeds. Kim and Kim, the Asian champions from Korea. And also Hong Wei and Shen Ye, number six seeds. All four of those pairs beaten in round number one. And that has meant that the draw has opened up for opportunities of unseeded combinations to come through, such as this pair from Taipei. Yes, they have beaten two of the seeded pairs on the way. Oh, good call. Told to leave it, he was going to play it. But Tan Boon Hyung, calling to his partner, let it drop out. Indeed, it was wide. appear to be enjoying his badminton, which is good.
frustration there. Stamping his feet like a little child there. <laughs> yeah, we all feel like that some days. Yeah, lovely play from Li Shen Mu. before he could grab a new racket. Already oh, done the setting up of the rally of the rally. Tamboon Hyong. No, that is shocking. He's called a fault for touching the shuttle. He was nowhere near it. He can't believe it either. Look, nowhere near. Dear, dear me. Well... We can all make mistakes. Well, that call by the umpire, he called a fault on Lu Sheng Mu earlier as a receiver. Called a fault there for touching the shuttle. And that was quite clearly wrong. He's just fired him into a little more intensity, a little more purpose, a little more aggression in his style of play. Oh, that's pretty long. Two points away from a place in tomorrow's final. around that one and now we have match points nine of them oh dear me never need so many match points can't afford to be complacent because things can change awfully quickly
this time. Third time of asking. And the number one seeds, Ku Kian Kiat and Tan Bu Hyong of Malaysia, through to their first ever final here at the Hong Kong Open. Two straight games had to survive a scare in the opening game, survived a game point before eventually winning it 22-20. And 21-13 in the second game. 26 minutes of play. has been kept busy all week. And it's stringing team. And a few more to work on after that wins doubles match too. 